my name is Nikki, and I'm one of the leads of the print shop at Spark Makerspace. Right now, we're in the lobby at the Makerspace. Hi, my name is Ian. I'm one of Spark's interns. So in the lobby, which you can see here, is the print shop green. And that's how you use to find the print shop. Just follow the green and you'll be able to find the print shop. All right, quick note, there are bathrooms here and another bathroom here. The bathroom here is the accessible bathroom. Mm -hmm. And right next to the accessible bathroom, the light switch is right here for printmaking. Now we're in the print shop. Uh, when you get here and if you want to put your stuff down, we have hooks in the back. Um, and unlike the wood shop, you don't need any orientation to use this space. Unless there's a class or a program, it's always available for everyone to use. You can use it for things like drawing, planning, computer work, etc. But when space is tight, printmaking does take priority. If you have experience using printmaking equipment, um, just make an appointment with one of the leads. You can email us at printmaking at sparkmakerspace.org and we can just do a brief run through of um, and get, you, and get you started. If you need to brush up or if you're a total beginner, you can sign up for one of our uh, low cost certification classes that is for members only. And usually we have the schedule here. It's always on the website also. Right here to the right of the entrance, we have the exposure table. This top is made of glass, so it's very important not to use it as a table. Right above the exposure table, the printmaking space is also the de facto art space. So there's a bunch of art materials up here. There's acrylic paint, charcoal paint, markers, colored pencils, etc. All up here. If you don't, if you can't reach anything up here, you can grab a stool. All this is shared community space, and we encourage our members to use it. To the left of our, our entrance, this little nook here is used as a light protective space for the screen printing and cyanotype processes. This bucket of emotion here should remain there and closed at all times. Do not access that bucket of emotion unless you've taken a screen printing certification class. As we walk over here, this rack has some uh, extra bucket of emotion for use when that's run out. Some scoop coders also for coding screens and rolling presses here that are not to be used unless you've taken the certification class for them. Right up top here is screen storage. Here there's blank screens to be coded and also screens people have used with designs already on them. And right here is the dark room where coded screens go to for 24 hours so they can cure so they're ready for the screen printing process. We ask that this remain closed at all times because if the if light hits the screens, they'll be affected and they won't be able to be used for screen printing. Right over here on this wall are the stools. Take one, however, if you need to read something, if you just want to sit down, these are good for everybody. Right over here is all our inks. And with the thing with inks here at Spark, they are community for community use. So we ask that if you're going to use large quantities of them, please bring your own because we want to make sure there's enough ink for everybody to use and for their projects. Right here is our give back box. If you use a lot of ink, we ask that you contribute something back to the space because everything here at Spark is community oriented and community led. So we need um, community contributions to be able to keep everything open and everything free for the space. Okay, here at the sink, we have um, an assortment of cleaning supplies, a bin of dirty rags and clean rags um, right next to each other. And if your rags are wet, you can store them on the rack here. Uh, there's other places for things like that are wet spatulas, wet squeegees, wet scoop coaters, and wet screens. They all go down here, um, and when they're dry, you can put them back in their spot. This hose is very functional for washing out screens, but sometimes you want to use just the faucet. Um, it's a quick release mechanism here. So you just pull up the middle ring and pop it out. To reattach it is the same thing. You pull up the middle ring and reattach it. To turn it on, simply use the handles. As a reminder, um, put back any tools that you've used during your work time. Unplug stuff if you kept.
Yes, unplug it if you've kept it plugged in, and turn off the lights when you leave the space. Um, if you do have any supplies that you're not using at home, and you'd like to share them with us, get in touch with either me or Casey, the executive director. Thank you so much for joining us on our tour of the print shop today. If you have any more questions, please email us at printmaking at sparkmakerspace.org. We're so glad you could join us today. Can't wait to print with you.